boy YouTube. Hey YouTube, Diesel Dan Peters here. So we are just getting stuff done, left and right. Um, between I already ordered new tail lights, new headlights, new third brake light. It already has LEDs throughout the whole car. Um, LEDs up there, back. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, you might be able to see it through here. Slightly see that? Nah, I don't know if you can. Let's go like this. Yep, that would be back there. Anyway, we are just knocking stuff out left and right, like I said. Um, coolant reservoir is mounted. We have battery connectors. Uh, it's just a uh, labor for love, I'm telling you. We are getting there, though. Um, I don't want to get too carried away with this project either, so I'm hoping I don't um, because I have a tendency to go too far with things, but we are working on the rear seats now, and I have the Corbau front seats ready to go in. I've been waiting to put those in because I want to have the stereo and all of the interior put back together first before I put them in because I figured I don't want to be moving in and out with those seats over and over. I don't want to destroy them, which is why I think the rear seats are a good place to start with because I'm just reupholstering the rear seats and they don't need to be in the car. So yeah, that's probably the first step I'm going to take with all this. Um, this other stuff I've been doing, but it's just around the clock. Um, I actually didn't record it, and it just came to me. I just installed all new trim on the door. You got new mirrors. I think all this is new up here, all the way down into the door. It was not fun to do. Um, this is new over here. The window trim goes up. Same for the other side. We got new windshield wipers, but that's not too big of a deal. Uh, but actually, they kind of are, since they're $30 each now for Bosch wipers getting kind of pricey yep so this side also all brand new uh, like I said including the mirrors uh, just knocking stuff out left and right uh, I didn't order a new rear window because I wanted to keep that Mustang logo on this specific window so what I ordered was it's like a slip over cover I guess that goes over this entire piece uh, unfortunately it is glossy black but uh, I'm hoping it kind of just goes with everything and uh, just kind of blends in. It just sucks because everything else is matte black. Although even this it does kind of have a shine if you look at it. This looks like it had a shine. Maybe I'll repaint this part, just this part, gloss black. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going along with whatever kind of comes to my mind. Uh, like I said, we got LED tail lights coming, LED third light, brake light. Um, so many things I'm trying to get done. Uh, but this rear seat is definitely one of them. Uh, I know it looks nice, but it's just not going to go. Like th This is a gloss black. It's not going to go with that specific theme with those seats. So I got Corbau rear seat covers and uh, or Corbu, however you say that name and we're going to install these um, so I guess tonight I'm going to work on at least at the very least removing the seat cover from this bottom portion it seems like the top portion will be a little bit easier but who knows, I guess we'll just find out once I get to that point so stay tuned YouTube um, trying to think of what else I got going we got new seatbelt uh, sleeves coming. Uh, you'll have to stay tuned. This car is getting a full transformation from front to back. So stay tuned. Diesel Dan Peters signing out for now. Oh, YouTube. I just completed it. I was getting a little bit anal about it. Because I like everything to be uniform. But there's all my hog. What do we call those? The, the, the like zip ties, but metal. Um, everything went on very smoothly. 
no rips. All this is going to smoothen out as the uh, heat gets to it. Um, ended up putting a few extra just to really secure it down. I want this to look really good. But man, this is this is an upgrade from that. I'll tell you what. Man. I can't wait for this to fully come up and oh. Got a little dirt on it. There we go. But yeah, tell me what you all think. I think it came out great. Uh, we got the two tops we got to do, but I think this is it for me for tonight. Yeah, I made sure everything was uniform, that there wasn't any certain bubbles or anything. This all came out absolutely perfect. And this is right in the middle, right where it's supposed to be. Oh, man. I just can't wait to have this back in the car. So stay tuned, YouTube. Like I said, we have way more to do. It's only the beginning of it. Stay tuned. Diesel Dan Peters signing out for now. Oh, boy, YouTube. What are we up to today? Hey, YouTube. Diesel Dan Peters here. So I figured I'd show you all how the Mustang's doing and some updates. So a lot of these videos are going out probably months from now. Um, I ran into some problems when I was ordering new tires for this. Um, besides a bunch of broken lug nuts, they actually destroyed all four of the rims that were on it. Um, I'm not going to say who it was because they did correct it. They ended up buying me brand new rims and these are definitely really nice, put it that way. Um, but uh, I figured I'd give you all a little update. So I got all the speaker wire installed uh, before it went to the shop. Uh, I even got the uh, the door plastic, uh, weather plastic in. So all that's been installed already. At this point, the only thing really left to do is actually to put speakers in the door, wire them up, and pretty much go from there. Then I can put the uh, door panels back on and it's going to start to look like a normal car again. So without further ado, I'm just going to get it done and probably make another video in a few months, I guess. Uh, yeah, she's definitely coming along though. She is on the road and man, she is fast. What do you think of the blow off valve? That, the the blow off valve and is. She doesn't know what a blow-off valve is. I barely know how to change a freaking cabin air filter. She's fired. Anyway, that's all I got for now, YouTube. I'll give you all a more in-depth view of the uh, new rims. So these are 17 by 8s in the front and 17 by 9s in the rear. Um, <clears throat> I like the setup. It doesn't rub. Um, they're very aggressive tires, the Nito, uh, or Nitto, however you want to call them. Uh, I got two 40, uh, 45, 17s in the front, and in the rear I have two 75, 40, 17s. And I would say that, uh, I mean, it's just a perfect setup. You know, it's very mean looking car. So, tell me what you all think. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. Stay tuned, YouTube. Diesel Dan Peters signing out for now. This needs to be fixed. So I'll probably make a video on that tomorrow. The garage is looking a little different too, right? Yep, I got halfway through with it. Needed to take a break, so I just put everything back for now. But my goal is to have this garage uh, fully painted and plastered before next year <laughs> so uh, let's see what else there's also an AC and heating unit in here now we got brand new lights a few months ago um, I did finish all the wiring um, that includes